Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, Moonlander alcohol stove using carbon felt in the uh, burner cup on check on performance. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Uh, right off, I'm calling this the uh, Moonlander alcohol burner. Actually, I got the idea from a uh, commenter. He said that's what he calls this uh, titanium alcohol stove. Uh, he calls it the Moonlander, and I thought, well, that's perfect. It does kind of look like the Moonlander, and just to give it the theme, I grabbed out an old uh, astronaut uh, figure just to kind of reinforce that. So I think that's a, a better name than just a, this, the old generic uh, titanium alcohol burner. <laughs> So anyway, um, I had another commenter was asking what the performance would be like if you put carbon felt in the uh, in the in the uh, burner cup. So I thought, well, let's give it a try. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up for a boil test with this. Now, when I reviewed this stove initially, I did a, a boil test on it, and I'll have a link uh, to that video in the description box. If you're interested in seeing that, I'm not going to replicate the uh, the burner without the carbon felt. If you want to see that burn, it's uh, it'll be in that video. But when I did it without the carbon felt, just the basic stove, I had uh, 16 ounces of 56 degree water, and uh, with one ounce of alcohol, and uh, the boil time was uh, five minutes and 50 seconds, and the stove ran out at about six minutes and 34 seconds. So that's uh, what we're going to com be comparing against today. So I'll go ahead and shut you down and I'll set up for the boil test. All right, I think I'm ready to go. Um, I've got uh, 16 ounces of 51 degree water. Now, uh, the previous burn test, the water temperature is at 56 degrees. Uh, it's substantially colder here this last week. Uh, so my uh, tap water's running running five degrees or four degrees five degrees colder um, I don't want to repeat the test with the same temperature of water so I think what I'm going to do as soon as the water comes up to 56 then I'll start the timer so we'll have a little bit better uh, a more even comparison a little more scientific in this totally unscientific environment here but anyway and um, I put an ounce of fuel in the burner with the uh, carbon felt in there so let's uh, see what happens go ahead and light it off I'm just curious, and I suspect that this stove has these little jets around the outside, the inside wall of the uh, burn chamber, and I'm wondering if those are going to light off with the carbon felt in there. You know, the carbon felt isn't blocking them, but it's not going to get the heat out to the, uh, it's, a, it's a double walled stove out into the double wall so that the uh, vapors can come up the side and out the jet, so in fact, um, on the previous burn, the stove came to a bloom very quickly, so I suspect that this is not going to work that well. I'm going to go ahead and put the stove on, and uh, we'll just let it run. Uh, you know, also, the, I've got the felt is just up to the uh, bottom of, there's a little lip in there below the, uh, the jets. I'm wondering maybe if it was a little bit lower, it might work better. I don't know if I want to go to that much trouble of cutting out more felt just to see if that's going to happen, but um, I'm going to go ahead and throw this on here. I suspect, looking at the stove, hasn't bloomed. Now let me put this, pull this off again. Oops, I'm going to get a hot pad over here. Uh, just looking at the way this thing is burning, there's no jets on it yet. It's not a very vigorous burn considering it's got the same amount of fuel and it doesn't even look like it's wicking up that well um, with the felt. I noticed that uh, like on a fancy feast when the fuel starting to run out you'll start, I don't know if you can see that or not, Let's see if I can sneak in here a little bit. Uh, you see a little bit of glowing in the carbon felt that usually uh, happens when like on the fancy feast when it's just about out of fuel which tells me it's just not getting enough fuel vapors or fuel up the 
to wick up to the top of the uh, carbon felt so that you can get a burn. You know, this uh, this is not burning that much. I don't think it's even worth trying to get a boil out of this. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm not even going to go with a boil test. Uh, I think this is just, just going to be a bust. <laughs> I don't know how long the fuel will burn. Probably quite a while since it's just eking out. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm not even going to bother uh, running a boil test right now because it's, it's, I already know it, it's not going to be very effective. Now, the only question is, is if we had less carbon felt, would it perform better? I don't know. Maybe I'll, uh, uh, I don't know whether I'll go ahead and maybe try to get some more carbon felt just to soak up a little of fuel in the bottom. I don't know why you'd want to do that. The only reason you'd ever want to put any kind of a filler in the burner is to prevent spillage if it tipped over. But this is a pretty stable stove. You'd have to really knock it hard. But So, yes, yeah, looks like it's almost wanting to go out. I don't know. I'll shut this down and maybe go over a quick think about whether I want to go with the uh, less carbon felt. I got it shut down. I pulled out the carbon felt. And I thought... Uh, I debated whether to put in maybe a, a lesser of a, a puck in here to see what would happen. I don't think we'd get that much out of it. Also, I thought I'd just go ahead and light the stove off for comparison what it looks like when it normally runs. There we go. Like I say, the last time, it uh, it's already, look at the flames are already this high. And uh, before with the carbon felt in there, I mean, it was just struggling <laughs> to, to burn. And now the, uh, the little jets are uh, just about ready to kick in, starting to bloom. So you, I don't know if you can tell with this light. Eh, let me go turn the lights off real quick here. Well, this is probably not the most exciting video I've ever done. <laughs> There we go. There. Now you can see. If you remember from the last time, I mean, it was just barely going. But now it's it's pretty vigorous. I say it's a pretty nice performing stove. Five minutes and 50, less than six minutes to boil two cups of pretty cold water is pretty good. It's got a nice flame pattern in there. I like the stability of it. Yeah, I like this little stove. Anyway, while we watch this burn, I'll summarize. And uh, that is using the uh, Moonlander stove with uh, carbon felt in the uh, the burn cup is uh, really is not going to gain you anything. So just take the stove as it is. If you're worried about spillage, uh, just be careful or find another alternative on a stove. Um, actually, some of these uh, puck stoves like this here with the uh, coiled carbon felt in there are, are very efficient and, and very nice. So if you're worried about spillage, uh, That'd be the way to go. If you uh, camp with a lot of klutzy people that might kick over your stuff, <laughs> it might be a consideration. But uh, anyway, uh, I think I'll call it quits on the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.